Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm really excited to announce this small mini course where we'll be building a real time chat application with Golang for the backend and React for the frontend. So it's a full stack Golang application. We'll be using Socket to coordinate between frontend and backend for the real time chat. And as you can see, I'm running two different servers. I'm running my Golang server for backend and my React server for frontend. And a lot of people have been uh, requesting right for chat applications and for front uh, for full stack applications so this is uh, you know a small course that i've created for the same and i know the the color scheme isn't uh, color scheme isn't the best here because i'm not the best at css uh, but obviously once you complete the tutorial with me you can take the score and you can change the css on your own to your liking what i'll be focusing mostly is the logic so building all these components getting the chat to show up here and configuring the entire backend you know all of the logic is what we'll be focusing on so whatever chat you write hey there it'll start showing up in your chat history and whenever a new user joins up you'll see here new user joined so this is what we're building right a real-time chat application with golang and react using socket so let's uh, start looking at the structure so we'll have our backend and we'll have three different files our client file pool and web socket and our main file and then our front end uh, we'll have an api file that will be responsible in coordinating or talking to the backend and calling the apis and we'll have these three different components chat history chat input and message right as you can see chat history chat input and the message itself so these will be different components and then we'll have our header and body and all of those different things so um you know in short this is what it is and it's not going to be a huge uh, course as in we I've, i think we'll be able to cover it in about seven eight videos of about 10 minutes each there's not a lot of code to be written uh, and i think it's going to be simple but uh, again i'll say that you need to have uh, some background with react you can't uh, you know you can't come completely empty because this is not a react uh, introduction course right so i'm assuming that you already know react you already have built uh, a couple of projects with react and then it this project will make sense to you similarly with golang you can't uh, be coming completely empty handed with golang so you need to know the basics of golang you need to know everything like structs interfaces slices uh, you know go routines and channels all of those different things you have to uh, know all of those things if you don't know those then then you can just go to my channel and uh, build a lot of the other simple projects that i've built like building a, a simple server in golang building mysql plus uh, golang a project and then those different scrapers that i've built so if, once you go through those uh, you'll get your hands dirty then uh, then when, when when you come to this it'll make a lot more sense right it, you can't expect uh, to understand uh, golang if you build a complete pro full stack project right that's not the way to learn all right so you need to know the basics of golang and um, so like i said you know uh, i will be uploading videos for this I, uh, about every week or so or maybe it'll take longer so do stay subscribed to this channel so that you come to know when uh, you know whenever i start uh, coding and start putting those videos there and um, thanks a lot for watching this video and do stay subscribed and be please be patient and you'll have to stick around with me for the next seven eight videos so that uh, you know i'm able to complete this entire course for you so thank you for watching